Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa barakatuh. May Allah reward you and your associates for the hard work. And may Allah accept all of that and uh, forgive your mistakes, if any, inshallah. Uh, the question is that it seems like in the Muslim society today, it's getting, the weddings are getting more and more ostentatious, glamorous. Uh, they're spending a lot of money due to which uh, it is getting very difficult for the poor Muslims uh, to have a good marriage. So they are discouraged from getting married. Is there anything you can say about that? That's a very good question. That today in the Muslim world, including India, but that happens throughout the world, not only in India, that the Muslims, or even the non-Muslims, they are spending excessively during marriage, lakhs of rupees, crores of rupees, throwing big parties, so it has become difficult. Marriage means I require X amount of money, otherwise I can't marry. The reply to this is, make nikah easy, so that zina becomes difficult. Make nikah so easy, that zina becomes difficult. You got two witnesses. And Meher, a beloved prophet said, a person said that, I don't have money for Meher. So prophet said, do you know a few verses of the Quran? He says, yes. Okay, give that as Meher to your wife. Means teaching a few verses of the Quran can be called as Meher. A date can be a Meher, even a mountain of gold can be a Meher. So Meher is depending upon the husband and wife status. It's not fixed. Now what we have in our society, we throw large parties. For namesake you may do the Nikah and the mosque. And then we have Alima calling thousand people in a big ground, spending crores of rupees, and nothing but Israf. What we have to do, we have to go back to the Sunnah of the Prophet and make Nikah so simple. Walima is good, Mustab, mashallah. But that doesn't mean you have to spend tens of lakhs of rupees, maybe a million dollars. It's not required. So make Nikah simple so that Zina becomes difficult. Now, Zina is easy. 100 rupees, 200 rupees. 100 dirhams, 20 dollars. So why do Nikah? Nikah requires $100,000. Zina requires $20. Therefore the Prophet said, make Nikah so easy, so Zina becomes difficult. Now we are living in an age in which Zina is so cheap, and Nikah has become so difficult. So therefore we believe that choosing a right life partner is very important. So when you choose a life partner, the blood problems are some said, that when a person chooses a life partner, he looks at four things. Wealth, beauty, nobility, and virtue. The best is virtue. So when you're looking for a virtuous wife, automatically all these things go down. And we have cases among the ladies. After the lady does the marriage prepared because the father wants to spend maybe one crore, five crore. You know, previously the father told, you know, let them go. More children, mashallah, help. After a few months, they said, what did Marriage means gathering, I come. Then they phone. My daughter is saying that she doesn't want to spend. What have you done to my daughter? You told us to make her Islamic. She is saying, we will marry five children. This is a game. So, Alhamdulillah, Mashallah, after doing, in the ladies' wing have gone a bit straight ahead. Gentry wing have fallen. We are slow at that. So, what we realize that if you know the Islam properly, then the married life will be better. And that doesn't mean that you cannot spend if your status is high. You can give, I'm not saying it's haram. I remember when I got married in 1993. 1993, that's about 16 years back. You know, we tell a level best to make it absolutely simple. We are the Nikah and the mosque. And I want to get the ladies. So, you know, most of the mosques don't allow women. So, if we went to Bandra Jama Masjid, which has Urdu school, which is attached to the mosque, so we kept the ladies there and we kept the gents in the mosque. And that time I never used to give speeches, you know. I wasn't. Very few people knew me, but because my father, mashallah, being in the social field, so we told the Muazzin and the Imam of the mall that be prepared more. Go, no, 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 And mashallah, there were about two to three thousand gents who came for the nikah. We started about 15 minutes early, more than the time mm -hmm. the Qutbah started. Simple nikah, mashallah, absolutely. One person told me, it's not simple, you should have done video recording of it. I said, if I don't video recording, well, simplicity will go away. <laughs> Mashallah, top people came, multi-millionaire came. Mashallah, the main non-Muslims who came. And then to set an example, we did not take any gift. Though giving gifts to the Sunnah. 
He said they only give blessings. They don't take any gifts. And little bit I went on the extreme. See, going on the extreme is around Islam committing excess of haram. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 171, Do not commit excesses. So we did a Walima, my Walima, mashallah. We called 21 people only among the relatives. Though my friends, mashallah, many, hundreds and thousands. 21 means my immediate brother and sister, my mother, father, her brother, sister, my wife, brother, sister, that's it. And 19 turned up for the Walima. And we call another 35, 40 people from the orphanage. So there were 60, more than 60 people. And we spent about 3,200 rupees something on the Walima. Allah has given us, mashallah, where we can spend tens of lakhs of rupees. With the money we saved, we started IRF, mashallah. IRF was there, we grew. So there's more sawab for it. Allah has given us, mashallah, where we can spend tens of lakhs and crore rupees also on the marriage. Allah has given us, alhamdulillah. So, there's more blessing. And I remember that because my wife is from Pune, and I said this when we had the marriage property course, even for the ladies, that there was an issue that where to have the nikah. Because normally it is a custom, not Islam, custom that nikah on a woman came. Ladki came. Whatever custom, custom came. So then I was able to convince because I became a better debater that we can set a better example. She wanted to set an example, I wanted to set an example. She was a guy. I could not find a good guy in Bombay, so I had to go to Pune. Mashallah, after my wife has tried, ladies being now, we have got many good guys even among the ladies here. Mashallah. Coming back, there were some of her invitees who came here to Mumbai. But the problem was, there were 50 people who came in a bus. The problem was how to do a simple marriage and hosting these 50 people. See, Allah has blessed us, we can give all of them in the five-star hotel. Alhamdulillah. Allah has blessed us. Where would it be simple then? So then, mashallah, we were able to get my brother's brother-in-law two flats with the terrace. We to all the 50 people, mashallah. And the hosting charge also came to just a couple of thousand rupees. We got weddings, made simple. Allah has given us where we could have kept them in five star hotel. Alhamdulillah. So making it simple in such a situation where, and we being host, we have to take care of them. We can't say that, are bhai, tumare are invited, we can't take care. So we hosted them for one and a half day. That also we did in a couple of thousand rupees. So we were more budgeting to set an example. I'm not saying that you also spend 3,000 rupees on the Walima only. Not to call 19 people only. But we are setting an example. So many close friends of mine, no, limited, only direct blood relation. So I do agree with you that we are so much showing off and telling the people. So if you do according to the Prophet's way, Allah and His Rasul, what Allah has commanded in the Quran and the Hadith, inshallah, your marriage will be successful in this one and the hereafter. Hope that answers the question.